Andy, Ryan, Adam and Joel are right here. It's so good to see you guys. Great to see you Congratulations too. Congratulations on everything that's been going on and especially congratulations to you because you've been really ill. Yeah. Through no fault of your own. You got your drink spiked, do you think? I did, yeah. Well, look, that's what we think yeah. happened. We don't actually know 100%, sure. but um, yeah, all the signs were pointing towards that. That's and terrible. Had liver failure and all that. But I mean, really, now, I know, know you look great. You look oh, really, really you. well and you're okay. Yeah, I'm just about okay. Yeah. Scary times. Uh, scary times, yeah. More for my family and, and the guys and stuff as well, but yeah. also a, a big lesson to be learnt there, you know, know what I mean? And got to be vigilant, you know, with your drinks and stuff on nights mm. out. It's like I always try and preach to the guys about drinking and stuff, and they don't just listen hold to it. that. You've got, no, if, you've got, if you've got a beer, just hold on to it. Yeah, exactly. Don't take it. a drink of a stranger, stuff like that. It's but, all uh, that. But, 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 but you know what I mean? You said you had liver failure, but everything is okay now? Everything's absolutely fine now. I don't drink... But um, that's probably for the best anyway, to be honest, as I usually a just embarrass living myself. Boy. So. Clean living boy. That's great. <laughs> but it must be boring when you go out for a drink. Now he oh. just has an orange juice. He can drive. He exactly. can drive you everywhere. Exactly. This is perfect. It worked out well for us. Designated driver. Designated, Designated driver. But you must I have been worried. to yeah. tell all the guys the stories yeah. for the next oh. day as well. Yeah. Because <laughs> of what we've done the next day. Oh, You're like, oh no, I but forgot it's, you it's, were there. You worked with Robbie Williams, which must have been... Hilarious. Dream you can, come true. You can, but, but it's yeah. good because you, when you do that and you support acts like that, you can just watch and, and learn, I guess. Yeah. And the, the big thing about supporting Robbie was he invited us on stage every night to perform with him, which nice. we've never like we've supported really quite good. a few people. No one's ever done that for us, so we actually got to perform back for good with him as well, which oh. was unbelievable. We couldn't believe we were doing. He's a good it, bloke, so. isn't he? He's he is a good bloke, he and I, I've got a lot of time for him. I really Absolutely. have. They tell me you're going to be working with Little Mix. We're actually, yeah, we're going up, we're heading up to Glasgow tonight, so we're it's looking all, forward to that. It's all going, isn't it? It really is all going. So things things doing well, you're happy, things are on track, health is OK. So yes. really now it's just a matter of grafting and... That's it, yeah. Well, that's Keep it, going. yeah. We've sort of been on the road for like the last few years touring, mm. as you say. We did the Robbie dates and we also did some dates with Take That last year as well. So Brilliant. we were lucky enough to do the Robbie sure. and the Take That show. Sure. So it was like the best of both worlds. But, you know, some literally the nicest guys in the music industry, you mm. know. And, and as you said, it was amazing to sort of watch Robbie every night on stage yeah. and watch the Take That guys and just, just learn from the best, yeah, you know sure, what I mean? Because they're bet. obviously uh, incredible performers. You do a lot so. of writing as well. I mean, Andy, I know you do a lot of writing too, all of you. You know, that's what's really important, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You've got, to, you've got to do that. I think we we definitely feel like, I don't know, writing, you've, you've got to be... It's our forte, isn't it? Yeah, th absolutely. I think, like, I expect you write most of the songs yourself, don't you? Yeah, like, I sort of you? bring the idea to the guys and say, what do you think of this? And they'll sure. be like... He's know, the blader, isn't he? That's he's, the, the, <laughs> he's the talking one. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine, that's OK. Yeah, I'm holding the ship together. Anyway, <laughs> like Without Andy. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Captain sorry. Brown. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're relying in for speech. <laughs> We're relying in for songs. Uh, yeah, courage, is, that's it. You know what I mean? It I'm wouldn't be the same the without all of you together. Do you know you've got great fans? As soon as, they, as, soon as everybody knew that you were on, the, tw the Twitter went crazy. It's been amazing. It went absolutely crazy. You just seem to have, I don't know what it is, you just seem to make that, some bands just have that connection. And it's, it's all about the music, of course. It is all about that, isn't it? But they, they love your songs. They just mean a lot to them. That must be really satisfying, because that's why you do it. It really is, and so many of them have been kind of on board from the beginning, uh, even before we were signed. Uh, with, with Twitter and Facebook and everything now, you get to kind of really know your fans early sure. on, and you get to know them by name, and they kind of stick with you for the whole journey. Mm. So when they kind of see us go up to bigger venues and stuff like that, and we meet them after the show, it's like, it's, good. it's almost like your friends. We've grown up together. Yeah. Yeah. That's the cool thing. No it's been like, I mean, so. we've been together for, what, like seven years now? Is and some people years? have been yeah. fans from that. I mean, we were just boys back yeah, then. Sure. So, I mean, it's sort of... Everyone's grown up together. It's nice, really. It's really good. And you've yeah. done it that sort of old-fashioned way, if you, if you like. You know, you've played the smaller venues, you've written your own stuff, you've worked yeah. and worked, you know, overnight success after seven years yeah. of hard graft, <laughs> you know? No, that? It's so that's crazy. What it's like. A lot of people do think it's overnight success, I though. Know. You know, they don't, they don't see the work that you put in beforehand. And, you know, as Joel said, you know, we used to just gig. Actually, the song Money, we wrote as a joke because we used to sing Where's the Money when we turned up and played in front of three people in Cambridge, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we'd be like... Just Where's the money? Its own thing, didn't it? <laughs> uh, so we, we then rewrote it, like, you Aww. know, into like this big pop anthem. But yeah, we just sort of, you know, we were an unsigned band gig around the country, playing in front of as many people. Got to do it. Couldn't get a gig half the time, you know? Aww. But, you know, just where the mouth spreads, then more people come to your next sure. show, then it grows the and it grows. Part, though, isn't it? Like building I think up so. your fan base mm. and, you know, starting pubs and then. Yep. Your audience of two becomes four and then eight, and then it you makes it so much better so when slow. you get there. And you appreciate it so you much do, more. Like yeah, we went, we we went on to play Wembley Stadium in front of sure. 80,000 people, you know, so it's like you appreciate Excellent. that so it's much. It's your dream, so. living the dream. Guys, it's brilliant to see you. I'm so glad you're okay. Thank you very much. I really am. And, really and nice. as we said, money's out right now. Right yes. now, you can go right right now. now. Fantastic. Thank you.